All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over an interesting problem. One of the people watching my videos had, uh, I get a lot of questions, but once in a while I get some really interesting questions. So this is one of those. Basically, we have a list of numbers and what we want as an end result, we want these numbers sorted and we don't want them sorted here, just sort the numbers. But what we want, we want to take this text number or just number 4135, and we want to sort those numbers that should say 1345. So we're gonna sort those four numbers in the order here. And sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. So, so for example, if we have like this over here, that would be two, three, four, seven, eight. So that's what we're trying to do. All right, so I'm gonna go over this. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a function called mid. So mid is a text function that gets you something from the middle of the text. So if I highlight this text comma, then I do one, that's the character to start from. And then I do one again, that should give me the first character from the beginning, C4. Now, if I change this first one to two, it will give me the second character and then I go to three, it will give me the third character. So basically this is the character to start from and this is how many characters we want. So if I do three, that's the third character to start from and if I do one character, we're just gonna get the third character. Hopefully that makes sense. So if I could provide something like an array to this mid function, something like this that gives me like one, two, three and four, if I hit enter, see, I just get that. But if I work this as an array function, so I'm gonna wrap this in array function formula. Didn't type that right, apparently. Actually, it's array formula. All right, fair enough. See, what I'm getting is four, one, three, five in different cells. So that's four, one, three, and five. Now, once I get that four, one, three, five, then I can take that and I can sort it. So if I put it inside of a function sort, that will sort that one, three, four, five. That's good. And finally, what I need to do now is join them together as one piece. So I'm gonna take that whole thing and join it. So join function will accept Actually, I think I'm just gonna use concatenate. That's fine. So no join, that will simplify this, concatenate. So we get one, three, four, five, but you'll see that it's aligned to the left, so it's not a number. So to convert this to a number, I'll take that and add zero to it. And that will give me one, three, four, five. So this is okay, this works for this first one. And if I only had like four character long stuff, this would just work on all of them. So this works for all of these and this, it's not gonna work for this one because this is five characters. So for this one, we would have to do one, two, three, four, five to make this happen. Now, how are we gonna get this one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five dynamically? So I'm gonna leave this formula for now the way it is. So the only thing we need to do, we need to replace this one, two, three, four with some other formula that will just give us that. So to do this, we're going to use a function row. So the row function, if I just give it, for example, like a range like this, and then I just make it work as an array formula like this. See, it gives me one, two, three, four. So basically it's giving me the row number. So one is the first one, two, three, and four. And if I go from A1 through A5, it will give me one, two, three, four, five. And six will give me one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's good. What I basically need to do, I need to just come up with some way to do this. Only instead of going through A1 through A6, well, when I do A1 through A4, that will give me four, right? If I do five, that will give me five. So if I can just come up with a way to get this four, five, six out of here so that it works, 
it should just work out. Now, to make this happen first, I'm gonna use a function indirect. So function indirect is basically gonna let me use a text reference as a range reference. So if I wanted to use this A1 through A4 as text like this, this will not work because this text now, argument must be a range. Now to convert that text to a range, we can use indirect function around that. So if I do this, see that will work again, but this now allows me to use text to come up with what I need. So now what I need to do, I need to replace this last part, this four with some text that's gonna give me what I need. So if I remove that four and I do ampersand to concatenate and concatenate the four as a number back to the end of this, I'm gonna get the same thing. And if I get that four to five, that will now work as a range, so that will work out. And if I do six, it will give me six. So basically now what I need is to figure out what is that number supposed to be. And the way we know what is that number supposed to be is by figuring out how many characters we have in this number. So one, two, three, four would be the first one. One, two, three, four, five is the second number. Four is the third number. So if we could just see how many characters long this is, that would be the number. And we can get that using the function len, which calculates the length of text. So see four, five, four, 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 so that will give us that. So now here, instead of typing four, I'm just gonna use that len function and I'm gonna put that in here, which will calculate the length. So now if I just hit enter, see it will give me one, two, three, four. Now, if this was, for example, more characters, let's say there is another character here, see that gives me five. If I add another character, that gives me this, one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have something that gives us that this, this is that array as a range. So what I need to do, I need to just take this and I don't really need this whole array formula wrapper anymore. I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna copy it, escape, go back here and replace this with my function that gives me that. I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna drag it down so you can see what happens. And you see how it actually takes the number of characters and it creates the range and it just works out. Let me just add a couple of more characters here to make sure it works for more. And here we go. So that's it, that should do it. So I don't even think we need this array formula function right here. That should handle the array, the sort itself. So if I just take that off, let me just find out where the comma is. So if I click here, see this highlights the ending comma, which is this one. So I need to remove one of these commas over here. And then I'm gonna remove my array formula out of here. And that should still work out just fine. And that should be my final formula to sort those numbers. Quite a few functions here. So we use len, indirect, row, mid, sort, and concatenate to make this happen. I'm sure there are other ways to do this, but this is one of those. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.